Hi everyone, Emmy here. I have some bracelets to show you. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to make a double wrap bracelet. Um, these bracelets are going to be available for a giveaway. So I just did a video on how to make a um, button out of a penny. So um, the initial giveaway was for my Canadian subscribers and the reason being is I get free shipping um, every Tuesday in October from Canada Post. So I was offering this and it's only it's restricted to Canada so that's why it was just for the Canadian subscribers. So um, I do have a giveaway for Canadian subscribers so go ahead and take a look at that video if you want to participate. It will be closing um, soon because I have to do the first shipment it's for each week of the month so the next one is next Tuesday and this is now Friday so I think what I'll do is I'll leave it till late Sunday night and then do the drawing so you still have a chance to go back to that video it's the penny video on how to make a penny uh, button and then as I was doing it, I realized, you know, I really should do one for my American subscribers. So I um, have gone ahead and done a video called adding thread to your double wrap bracelet or your leather wrap bracelet in that video. And it does say it uh, a giveaway as well. So in that one, if you are an American subscriber and want to win this bracelet, go ahead and comment where you're from in that video. So let's go ahead and start this because this does take a little bit of time and I want this to be a little quicker for you so that it's not so frustrating watching a really long video and then doing it. So hopefully what you can do is get your stuff ready and just put the video on pause and go to the next step, that kind of thing. So these are the lovely double wrap and this is what they look like on the other side. Here's this one here. So I tried to match up some colors of different beads and you know some smaller beads with big beads. The, that's the thing that I try and do is I try and create some different textures and sizes and colors and stuff like that but have it so that it matches. So that's that one. That's the Canadian one. So I'll show you how to do this. And then this is the American one. And that is this one. Okay, so we'll put those aside and we'll get started. So you're going to need a button of any kind. So you can make your own button or you can buy a button. Or if you have a button at home, you can use. I've also used uh, Pandora beads for a button. Um, yeah, it's there's no uh, limit to what you can use for a button on your bracelet. So be creative. So you need that. You need some leather. So I use two millimeter leather exclusively. Um, some people use thinner. I wouldn't recommend going any thinner. You can see with this bracelet, this is two millimeter. This is to me the perfect thickness that you need. So, and um, also there's the video on how to make this button too that I just posted. Uh, what else? So for your leather, um, you want to, if you're doing a seven inch bracelet, you are actually for both seven and seven and a half inch bracelets, you're going to need um, five feet of leather, which is, you know, if you take your ruler, that's like 12 inches times five, which ends up being 60. Yeah, 60. <laughs> so think about that. So just measure out five lengths. How I come to that number is your your um, wrist size times however many wraps you're going to do. So now if you, your wrist size is um, seven inches, and actually I add half an inch. So if your wrist size is seven inches, you're going to measure out seven and a half inches each time for your for your leather as well as um, when you're 
on your bead board when you're adding your beads measure out seven and a half so always a half an inch more but include your knots now I know I'm sorry this is like confusing I do have videos that break it down and maybe in the next video I'll break it down to each individual step so it's not so confusing this one is confusing and part of the reason is your leather is expensive and if you don't buy your leather in bulk like this it's frustrating you get to the end of your bracelet you don't have enough leather left to make your knots and it's it's just devastating so I I try to give you a good idea now what I do is I always add more so let's go back to the measurement so you're you're adding a half an inch to your wrist size you remember there's two sides to the bracelet because your beads go in between the two so you always have to double whatever length you come up with so your wrist size plus a half an inch then multiply it by how many times you're going to do a wrap so if you're doing two wraps you multiply it by two if you're doing three wraps you multiply it by three then you add another length for your knots now if you're doing just a knot like this this kind of a knot not a big deal it doesn't take that much but if you're doing barrel knots like I do which I find looks a lot tidier these barrel knots take up a lot of leather so you want to make sure you add a whole length of this to it to your length of leather so if you come up with um, your wrist size half an inch and then double you want to add that amount again for your knots so hopefully that makes sense to you so let's move on <laughs> or you could trust me sorry about that you could trust me and just do 50 inches of leather and that way it covers you for a seven inch bracelet or a seven and a half inch bracelet you might have some left over so okay so now that we have our leather let's you're going to need some thread and this is the thread that i use coats and clark you can get this at um, walmart and it is amazing their colors are more like uh, browns uh, they do have blue they do have red I think they have green actually now that I think about it so they do have some weird colors um, but for the most part you probably want something like this brown or maybe a tan depending on your I like my thread to disappear on my leather so you can see you can barely see that thread but on this one I used a tan and you can see it a little more I don't like my thread showing but there's not much I can do you can somebody mentioned taking a marker and coloring your thread ahead of time before you put it on to match your leather and that's a great idea so you could do that so we're going to use our thread our coats thread you're going to need some wax to condition your thread now this threads nylon so you don't actually have to condition it but when I say condition it what I mean is you want to take the twist out of it a bit um, because this is twisted multiple strands but also it gets twisted when it gets rolled on here so you see how it keeps its shape like that when you start pulling these through the beads they start to twist and knot like that and it's a nightmare you'll never get the knots out so I run my thread through the wax and it straightens it out nice and flat and it you don't get that many um, knots so then the other thing you're going to need is a beading needle now because I use check glass beads the holes are really small so you need a tiny needle so I use a size 10 beading needle it's a bit of a pain in the butt to thread it but it's definitely worth it first of all the needles keep their shape <laughs> You can use a collapsible needle if you have a small enough one. They're kind of hard to find. So we're going to go ahead and use the 10. So let's get our, and of course you're going to need some beads. I pulled out these guys. This is all I have left of this, but it is enough for the first wrap. These lovely colored check glass beads. And these are 
six O's, I believe. Yeah, I think there's six O's. Um, you can put any size bead you want on your bracelets. And then I'm going to do the second one with these fire polished beads. So, yeah, let's see where we get with these guys. So to start out with, you've got your, you've measured out your leather and you're going to thread it through your button. But what you want to do is you want to cut this on an angle and I use my nippers to do that. So cut it on an angle. It just goes through the buttonhole a little easier. So um, I'm going to go through the front. You could go up and over. I'm going to go through the front like this. Get that through. Let me, I'm going to use my bead reamer to just open this hole a bit. Make it easier. You want to be careful to bring your leather through gently because you could scuff it up. It's pretty um, easy to scuff up and you don't want to do that. These bead reamers are great for this. <laughs> I can't get it out. Okay. So let's go through. Yeah, you see how easy that is. But you see right there, it scuffed it up already. So be gentle. And you know, it depends on your leather too. So yeah, just slide it through nice. If you can kind of feel if it's rubbing on the side. So you want to find your midpoint. So I'm just going to bring it down a bit, kind of have an idea. Then grab your two ends and find your midpoint that way. So I still got a ways to go here. So now we're going to grab this one that's, so we want this part to show. So we'll grab this side, which is basically the same one we put through because we came in through the back. And that was purposeful because I felt like if I did scuff up something, it would scuff up the same side of the leather and not both sides. <laughs> but you don't want to scuff up your leather at all. Bring it all the way through. And now this part is not like super crazy. You want it somewhat the same. And the reason I say that is because once we put our barrel knot, the um, the lengths are going to change because one side is going to use up more leather. But it'll even out at the end. So there, bring it to the end like that. So yeah, you can see. I wonder if this leather is old. It looks like it's like cracking a bit, but it'll be fine. You can oil these, by the way. They're special like saddle oil and stuff like that. I use olive oil. <laughs> Don't know if that's what I'm supposed to be using. But. So now I'm going to use my barrel tube. This is just a um, tube bead that I got a whole bunch of these on uh, eBay for like a dollar and they're meant for bracelets and stuff but I didn't care for like they were pretty tarnished so I just use them for two beads you can buy these from Kelly's Bead Boutique for like 40 cents um, I'm sure any craft store or beading store has these if you don't have this and you want to do a barrel knot you can take a straw and cut it and use a straw for that so what you're going to do is you're going to take your button and leather and you're going to put them all together like this just might as well just hold it like that then you're going to take one of the strands doesn't matter top or bottom you're going to wrap this around three times but you want to wrap it towards the button that's really important so i just Use my fingers to help hold things like that. So there's a third time. Now I'm going to bring it. So I think what's happening is this leather is a bit dry. It's old. It's probably a year old. 
so it's a bit dry but you can condition it with oil so then you're going to bring so here's the other thing i want to mention is using your thumbs and index finger to switch hands to do things and that helps because this is kind of a frustrating technique that if you can't coordinate your fingers it might like come apart or come loose and then you're like oh what do i do so just start all over and try again so we're going to put the cord that we wrapped around we are going to put it through the tube bead on this side by your button and it's going to come through you see how it comes through so pull it all the way through and again make sure you're not scuffing up your leather can't say that enough and then push it all the way through you're going to switch fingers here because we're going to pull this out and take the tube bead off and so this is what you have now you can see it's really loose you want it tighter but you also want it up close to the button some people will cinch it right up to that point there i like my buttons to sit so you can see them when you tie your bracelet so i put mine right at the edge of the button here so you can see there's quite a bit of distance now because this is loose you can actually maneuver it up into position like that okay and then take your leather and tighten it and that's the strand that you put through so you that's the one you're tightening and just tighten it right up and if your other one gets weird this one moves so you can see watch if i pull that one moves so for me if i want mine like that or just put that back and pull see how it moved it there so there is the first barrel nut so let's go ahead and get this one started so I am going to take this and I'm going to put a loose knot at the bottom and I mean loose you don't want to make your leather all kinked up and we're doing this because now we're going to attach this to the bead board and I have a free one here so this is these bead boards they're um, ring trays and I take out the um, the spongy part and I just add a bead mat um, so they're actually long but you can put it sideways let me see if I can so this is hard to show you there's the bottom part so let's go ahead and so we're gonna attach it like this on our bead board and you're gonna do that with a piece of string that you've tied a knot in so you fold it in half tie the knot so this is the halfway Point, we are going to take this piece here and just you can just tie it in a knot if you want but here's a way to do it without tying a knot is just poke it through the two strands of leather and then wrap it around your button like that and then pull that now you're ready to attach your bracelet leather so I've gone ahead because this is long it's a two wrap you need to wrap it around twice and because this is a short <laughs> bead board so now i've wrapped this side around and you're just going to put it through here and then tie a knot here and you don't have to do this tight either so this is however find your kind of comfort zone and i'm just going to put another so that doesn't come loose and that is how easy it is to attach your bead, your leather to your bead board, like that. And if you move it away, first of all, it gets out of the way of your work, but it also tightens everything. So that's super cool. So let's grab our needle, let's grab our beads. I'm going to put my beads here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start this one 
and then I'll I have one that's ready to finish and I'll show you that one so to start with we got our thread make sure it's not tangled we're gonna leave about a five centimeter six centimeter tail and I've wrapped it onto the left um, strand of leather we're gonna put a knot in here not right up against the knot but let me see give you a better idea of what I'm doing here okay so just snug but not super tight then add another knot a little tighter and add another knot that one you can do tight okay and we're just gonna just pull it to the left and the reason being is that knot is now going to hide in one of these beads so that's a little trick that I use and we will weave this in after and add a bit of glue so now you're going to pick up two beads and I'm just doing random actually we're going to do one bead to start with and that's because it's narrow here so the first bead will open it up and then the second bead will widen it if you were to put two beads there it would get kinked and flip over on each other anyway so we're going to take this down and I'm also going to add that thread through this bead is quite large the hole so you can do that so I put both strands through you don't have to you can do it when you're so just grab it like that now I'm going to push down so this goes you start with your weave, you go over the two strands of leather, then you're going to go under your right hand strand, through your bead, under the left, and then come back around. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going under. And careful not to poke your thread with your needle. These needles are really sharp. So just like that, and then pull your thread through. You might see stuff like this. This is the uh, wax coming off. Not a big deal. The heat of your skin will melt it. You won't even know it's there it's unless you're allergic to beeswax. Okay, then we're going to grab two this time. That. And we're going to bring these guys down all the way. like that so these are going to sit over again so we always go over top and then under both beads like that and as you do it more it gets easier to find the hole now these holes are big so it's not that big a deal and just pull everything through Just gonna make sure this is nice and I'll tighten it a sec here. So let's just make sure this is snug. The first three beads are a bit wonky. So let's grab two more. Bring them down and like that and I hang on to the beads now I usually put my finger over top as well but I want you to see what's happening so then just pull tight don't pull too tight um, your leather soft and this thread is really strong it will cut into your leather um, you might not notice it it might not damage it but um, if you have to go back and take it off, you will see the indentation and sometime a bit of scuffing, so be careful. It's all a matter of, you know, the more you do these, the more um, you find your tension and your pressure and your preferences. I mean, there's so much fun. It's so unlimited what you can do and people go nuts over these bracelets. They look amazing. <laughs> So I'll do one more and then I'll show you how to end your bracelet. So this will be the quickest leather wrap bracelet I've done. <laughs>
the magic of video. <laughs> so if you're watching this now, um, and it's not too late after I posted it, be sure to go back to the um, how to make a penny button. Uh, there's a giveaway for my Canadian subscribers. And then in the video on how to add thread to your bracelet. So of course this thread is not going to last the two wraps. You're going to need to add thread. So go ahead and take a look at that um, video. And for my American subscribers in that video, if you comment on that video, there's a chance to win a double leather wrap bracelet with a American penny. So definitely take a look at those videos. So there we go. So that is how easy it is to start. When you go to add your second bead, you can see these are pretty much the same size as two. So it will fit nicely. You don't have to worry about extending your, you know, pushing your leather out, anything. Just go ahead and add this one as the next one. You can actually do, say, two strands, do maybe 10 rows of these, then add one or two of these, then 10 rows, one or two of these. It's unlimited what you can do, and you can imagine it looks amazing. So let's put these aside, and I'll show you how to end it. So... This one here, I already went ahead and um, added my extra piece of leather. So if you're interested in how to do that, or sorry, your extra piece of thread, I just posted a video on that. And there's also, I mentioned the giveaway for that. So let's go ahead and finish. We have a few here. So I used rounds in these instead of fire polished. So you just grab one of these and same technique so you put it over top of the two strands and then go under through the bead and under and let me move this up so you can see and let me see if I can move this over so it tightens it a bit so I will just do this quickly. These beads are hard to find the holes because of the spots, but oh man, I love these beads. I have probably every color that they make of these. They're just incredible. So we just bring it down, put it over top of both strands, go underneath through the bead and under the other side, pull it through like that and grab your next one, pull it down and I'm, I've got two cats and I have a cat that's white so I'm getting like little white it looks like lint. <laughs> oh, that's a cat. It's in the air. Like I used to be so OCD when it came to cleaning. And then I got cats. And I'd say to my wife, how come there's fur on the top of furniture that the cats don't go on? Like on the stove or in the fridge I'm like how is that even possible she's like Emma it's in the air you can't help it I'm like oh so you're saying we're breathing it in <laughs> I've totally changed now <laughs> I'm like hmm cat hair in my food great who cares or our cats are so funny we have one cat that likes to be put in bed at night so if you don't go to bed on time according to him he starts getting all stressed out so you start walking upstairs and he gets all excited he runs upstairs and he stands by his bed and then he jumps in his bed 
when you tell him to, you say up and he jumps in. And then you have to pet him like so many times and he does his little circle in his bed. And then I have to kiss him on his forehead. When I kiss him on his forehead, of course, I get a mouthful of fur. And then he's happy. He's in bed for the night. That surprises me so much because I thought cats were nocturnal. So I, I just figured they'd be busy <laughs> driving you nuts all night. Of course, when I was a nursing student, I had a kitten and the kitten was like that. And what it used to do was... In the middle of the night, I'd be sleeping, and when you do REM sleep, your eyes twitch. And the cat, I guess, was sitting staring at my eyes, and when I started switching uh, in the REM sleep and my eyes twitching, he would jump on my face and claw my eyes. <laughs> Needless to say, I started closing the bedroom door. So now I'm just moving everything up. Okay, and we've got four left here. And I'll show you how to finish this off. So I'm tightening these as I go. Be careful not to push your beads up on your strand um, and tighten too much. I do that and sometimes when it comes off the bead board, they buckle because I didn't leave enough space. So just be mindful of that. So big news today. Um, Kath from the UK, if you've been following my channel, you've seen she's been sending me some pretty incredible friend mail on a consistent basis. And, uh, she has so generously offered to do the giveaway for the 5K. So she has sent me three packages of beads for you guys for the 5K giveaway, which should be coming up soon. So yeah, that would be exciting. I haven't looked at the... The, uh, she sent it in two packages in this last package I haven't uh, opened yet so it's going to be exciting for me too okay so for the end here what I want to do is because I don't want to create knots I am going to come back in and go up three beads and that way let's see if we can do a better job with the lighting here I apologize, I'm just trying to adjust this. Uh, it's so wonky, the, the, there we go. That's a bit washed out, but you know what? At least you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so normally we would come back down this way. What we're going to do is we're going to go from side to side here through this first one at the bottom. Make sure it's nice and tight. Gonna hang on to my bead and try to go through the top so you don't hook your thread grab onto this thread so it doesn't pull out on the other side as you're pulling it through that nice and snug so now you're going to go under this is the part that's different we want to follow the, the the path of the thread so that you can't tell where it's been added so you're going to go under this one but you're going to poke your needle up and come out through the front. If you're doing this normally, you would go straight across. So we're going to poke it through the back, into the bead, and then up through the front like that. And pull it through. And this is how knots form, so just so you know. And of course, it's because as you get to the end of your thread, Every time you go through, it starts to twist it a little more. So that's why. Okay, so now we're going to go up. And we're going to go under the next bead. And through the back on both sides like that without poking your thread. There. So now your thread is in the same position as that last one. So now we're going to go up and over. 
but through the top like that there then up to the next one but underneath everything like that over and over the top and I'm gonna go one more time just through the back I you know, it probably doesn't matter. I like to be in the back, but once your bracelet's on, you could be turning it either way. It's not going to matter, but that's just me. So that's it. That's all we have to do with that. I'm going to take this needle off so I don't poke myself. Um, you can actually cut this a bit. We don't need that big piece of... We don't need that big one either. There, so we'll get rid of that stuff, and we can take this off. Put our needle away this off our beadboard and we'll untie this Let's see where I put there I just did a slip knot on this one okay <laughs> I don't know why it's not coming out. There we go. Okay. And we can undo this too. Yeah, it's really washed out now. Let me see. There we go. Okay. Let's get rid of this here. So we'll just take this off like that and save that for the next time okay so I do have my strands this one I'm gonna weave through again with a needle actually I have a collapsible needle we could probably do that right away let me open this up so you can see what I'm doing so this is the top one so this is the bracelet that's gonna be for the giveaway for the US giveaway Okay. So these beads are quite big at the beginning, so you don't have to worry. So I'm just going to go under. And don't poke your th leather. Go another time. And I'm going to put, uh, actually I'm going to go to the back. I'm going to put a knot in here. So... Loose a bit, make it longer. So I'm going to put a knot and I'm going to hide the knot inside, so that's why I'm kind of being particular here. But you don't have to do it this way. So there, like that. Just hang on to all that stuff. And Pull oh, your yeah. this um, thread. Of course, we waxed it, so that's why it's a little snug. Okay, so you can see. Let's see if we can tighten this knot here. Now I'm going to go through the bead with that knot, and it will hide it inside there. Let's see, so you can see the knot, and. Move your feet over there. Now you can't see the knot anymore. So you can either cut it there or go one more time. Through. Like that. And that'll secure it. And just So we're going to glue that as well. And we're going to glue these here too. But this is, and there's a video on how to do that. So that's why I'm not bothering with this part. So this is where I'm going to show you how to finish your bracelet. So definitely measure, again, your length for each wrap. 
and either measure it on your wrist, measure it on a mandrel, or measure it with a ruler. Those measurements may be different, so be careful. So now let's add our knots here. So we're going to use our barrel knot again. Let's grab a hole. Let's pinch everything together. It is a little difficult getting started, so you're going to wrap it towards the button, towards the bracelet, three times. You can put however many times you want. I've done it where I've done like four or five times. It looks really cool, but it definitely changes how the bracelet is and how much leather you use. So just remember that. Or you could just do two times as well. So that's three times and then come back that on that fourth turn. I've switched fingers. I'm going to put my leather that I was wrapping around through the barrel knot tube and you see it comes through the bottom and you pull and just pull it right out like that and hang on to your knot so you can see it's quite loose we're going to adjust it so that it's snug to the beads like that so just kind of wiggle it Yeah, you want it nice and tight so that it doesn't this this one's really important to make it tight the top one you can have it loose so just so you know and it's another little squeezy squeezy <laughs> I'm making myself laugh <laughs> now we're going to take our button and we're going to measure the distance that we want to have the opening because this is where we're putting the opening so that's this yeah that's plenty of room there so just use your fingernail to mark where you want grab your two bead I kind of put it halfway in between and then you can take your longer strand or your shorter strand depending on how much leather you have um, because then once we cut this off, whatever's left, you can use for something else. So you might want to use your shorter strand as long as you have enough of it. So now we're going to wrap this again. So we are wrapping it three times and you're always wrapping it towards the bracelet. So over like that. And there's the third. And that's the beginning of a fourth. So now we're going to take that end, put it through the barrel knot, barrel tube, I mean, put it all the way through, and switch fingers, pull that out as you pull the cord through, and tighten. So now things have moved around a bit, so let's take a look and see where our measurement is again. And that is perfect so you can make it a bit tighter this actually stretches but I think we'll leave it there and tighten that one side there now for this end here you can sometimes when I make these to sell I put a second closure and what that does is it gives the opportunity to have a longer bracelet um, so that you use the second closure but if your bracelet fits on this you all can always just cut this so you can always do that if you're making these to sell but we're ma I'm making a specific size and this is going to be a gift for you guys so I am going to put a little tassel a little knot on each of these and that is really fun to to do and I have to say I saw Brittany from Turquoise Street do this. So this is, you're just doing basically one knot plus the half. And go around. Yeah, I saw her doing it. I was like, oh, that's amazing. And basically all it is is a knot. You could probably put a knot in the end. But I just find it comes out a little neater with the barrel knot. So look how nice that is. Like that. 
and very tight. Okay, and squeeze those together so that's what it looks like. Squeeze these together. There. So it looks like that, or like that, like that. Okay, we'll do a second one. And I like to offset them, but you can put them at the same position. So let's do that. And through. Let's make sure this isn't too far off the other one. This doesn't look right. Let's redo this. Probably went too fast. Okay, so hang on to it. Go once and then that's why the, the leather is a bit tight. So there, go twice. Then bring it around and through. I saw how to do a snake knot. Ooh, that one we're going to try. Very nice. Yeah, I'll have to do that on a bracelet. Okay, so let's tighten this. And tight. There. And the leather is um, pliable, so you can kind of squeeze it with your fingers. So now we're just going to cut these. Just uh, leave a little bit so that it doesn't pop off. And there. You know what? We have a couple of minutes. Let's um, glue these, and then we can... Clip it and this will be ready to go for the giveaway. So I have my GS Hypo and I'm just going to go into the bead a bit. Squeeze into the bead. Squeeze into the bead. Squeeze and I'm going to go to the next ones. Careful going into your beads. I've cracked them doing this. I need to slow down. I'm getting <laughs> glue everywhere. Oh, let's go on this side here. And we want to put some in this knot here. Let's go in this way. Okay, that's it. Hang on to your tip of your glue so it doesn't all come out and then just guide it in with your finger like that my neat little tricks okay so let's clip these guys and just rub off any excess it's probably better with a tissue but just be careful when you're cutting. I have cut my threads. Do not friendship. There. So this is ready. For the giveaway. So definitely go take a look at that video on how to add thread for my American subscribers and then for my Canadian subscribers it's how to make a penny button. So there is the bracelet. That turned out really nice and that's what it looks like on this side. Let me get a better focus here. Like that. And like that. So there you go. Thanks for joining me. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. And um, I will probably continue to do some breakdown of different components of the bracelet just to make it easier to look for something and not have to watch a full video. So there you go. Take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye.